Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a tutorial on these Japanese inspired army camouflage nails. So these are camouflage nails inspired by the Japanese army outfits. And I've also went ahead and added some Japanese bling as well, just to bring the whole look together. So if you guys are interested in a closer look at everything I did to complete this design, then just keep on watching. So before we jump into the tutorial guys, let's talk about all of the products I used to complete today's nails. So for my base and top coat, I used Gelish foundation and top it off. I used Gelish structure in cover pink for my nail bed. I used Kiki London's Blackpool Neo Nails Dirty Green, Ink London's Pistachio and Victoria Vins Toasted Almond. I also used a few glitters by Smiley's Glitter Store and also Glitter Planet UK. I used my Crystal Katana. I used my Cody gel paints i used a few different brushes some gold japanese bling and i also finished off with my cuticle oil so i will show you all of the products in more detail further on and remember if you're interested check the description box so moving right on with the tutorial guys and I am going to go ahead and apply a base coat to all of my nails to begin and then I pop that into my LED light for 30 seconds And then my next step was to go ahead and work on my base colours. So for my middle finger and my thumb, I used Cover Pink by Gelish. And then for my pointer finger, I used Blackpool by Kiki London. And then I used Toasted Almond for my ring finger. And then I left my pinky bear because we're going to be using some glitter. So I'm just going to go ahead and do two coats of each colour on those nails. But remember, allow each coat to dry for 30 seconds before applying the next layer. So as I mentioned previously, for my pinky, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a glitter combo. So I'm starting by applying a layer of base coat to that nail. And then I'm sprinkling on this ultra fine gold glitter that I got from AliExpress absolutely ages ago. I then tap off the excess, pop that into my LED light for 60 seconds. When it comes out, I brush away the excess and then I go in with another layer of base coat. And this is going to attach those little gold flakes. These are gold shards that I picked up from Glitter planet uk it's the first time i've actually used them and i am absolutely in love so i basically picked up some little pieces and attached that to the nail and then top coated it twice so this is what my nails look like before we go any further So moving right on with the nail art guys and this is my colour palette and as I mentioned previously I'm going to be doing a Japanese inspired camouflage and their camouflage leans heavily on a few different colours of green and then some brown. So I picked some colours from my collection that I thought matched it well. So the first colour I'm going in with is Dirty Green by Neo Nails and this one is a really beautiful army green and it's the only one in my collection that I have is that is an army green polish. So this one was perfect for this so i'm just going in and adding random splodges and the difference between their camouflage and, and ours is theirs goes more lengthways as opposed to having like chunkier bits leaning into each other so you will notice that i am going in a diagonal away across my nail as opposed to doing like sort of like a cow pattern if that makes any sense so then i go in with the light green underneath the middle green and then the darker above that and then i go in with the brown and then finally with black and there really is no rhyme or reason to this. You could do this absolutely any way you want or with any colours you want. And that is the great thing about camouflage. You could totally tailor it to your tastes. But I thought this was epic colours for autumn and I really wanted to do some autumn inspired nails but I wasn't sure I wanted to quite um, go into leaves and all that stuff yet. So I thought this was a good medium between them both. So once I was happy with that camouflage, I popped that into my LED light for 30 seconds and now I'm moving on to the middle finger and the thumb. And for those, they're both the same. They're going to be a French tip nail with the, a Japanese camouflage also. So I started with a layer of 
Jealous Covered Pink as my base and then I'm now going in with Toasted Almond by Victoria Vin and a really tiny detail brush and I'm mapping out my smile line and then once I'm happy with the smile line I use the gel bottle brush to just fill in the rest of that nail. And then again, that goes into an LED light for a full cure. And when that came out, I just went ahead and did the exact same army camouflage as I did on the previous nails. And then I'm going to outline that nail with the Cody gel paint in number 26, which is a really gorgeous antique gold. So I'm just going to follow the shape of the smile line and then add some tiny gold details to the camouflage on the thumb, the ring finger and also the middle finger. And once again, when I'm happy with that, I pop that into my LED light for a full cure. And so far, this is what my design looks like. So as you can see, I have the French tip nail on both the middle finger and the thumb to match the ring finger. And then I'm going to start blinging everything up. But before I get into the bling, I am going to go ahead and take my Ink London Nail Buffer and just buff the surface and refine the shape of my nail. And I completely forgot to mention guys, I did top coat my nail before I started buffing and that just gives me a protective layer so I could go ahead and refine the shape of my nail without worrying about taking any of the art that I've just put on the nails as well. And then the next step is to go ahead and brush off that excess dust and now I'm going to start adding the nail art. So for the ring finger, I am going to do a tiny little bow on this French tip nail and I'm only going to be doing this on the ring finger. I did something completely different on the thumb. So I first started by using my 3D sculptor gel that I got from AliExpress. I started by adding two little balls to the nail and then I'm using my number four gel brush by Rubeloff to just refine the shape of the petals but you will notice that I wasn't happy with the size of those balls so I did take off some of the product and then refine the shape again so I did do that on both sides and now I'm just using some rubbing alcohol to basically mold that into a tiny little bow And then I popped a tiny little crystal. These are the AB Pear Drop crystals from Smiley's Glitter Store. So I popped a tiny little one of those in the middle of that still wet gel and then I surrounded it with a little gold frame just so that I catches that little crystal and I thought it looked hella cute and brought that finger together. And once I finished with that finger, I went ahead and started blinging the rest of the nails. And for that, I have all of my gold pieces in my little tray here. So I have some frames and some caviar beads. I'm also going to be using those pear drop crystals, the gold charge from Glitter Planet UK, my blue sky decor gel, and also my gelish top it off to apply all this to the nail. So starting with the pointer finger, I have buffed the surface shine of the nail. And I'm now going in with a sort of snake shape of the gelish top it off. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the gold shards to that and also sprinkle some glitter on. And this is going to give me a cool little background for my crystals. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to point out that little green star there is a basically a little 3D star frame that I got from AliExpress. I then filled it with dirty green and some of those gold shards. But if you would like to see how I make my 3D pieces, then I could definitely do a video on that for you guys. But moving on, I am now going in with some of that Blue Sky Decor Gel and I'm completely covering that whole glitter S shape that we just made. And then I top it off with some top coat and that is how I adhere my crystals to my nails. It's an absolutely foolproof way of getting your crystals to stick. And then onto that still wet gel, I'm first going in with that little army star that I made and then I am completely slimmed in that with all those little gold pieces as well as those little pear drop crystals that I got from Smiley's Glitter Store and also some Japanese bling pieces. Thank you. 
and then when I was happy with that I popped that into my LED light for 60 seconds and I rotated my finger just to make sure all of that light penetrated underneath those crystals as well. And then for the bling for my ring finger, again, I start with a little bead of the Blue Sky Decor Gel. I then top coat my nail and then onto that wet gel, I apply some of those little crystals that I've been using throughout. So I just use tiny little sizes. I then surrounded them with gold caviar beads. And then off camera, I went ahead and because I decided later on, because as you know, I could never fully make up my mind. But off camera, I added a tiny little gold frame and a Topaz Swarovski crystal as well. And then once again, I popped that into my LED light for 60 seconds. And then when I removed it from the lamp, I took my nail surface cleanser to go ahead and clean my nails. And then once again, I took that gelless top off and I carefully added that to all of my nails, being sure to completely avoid any of the crystals so they don't dull their sparkle. And I popped that into my LED light for the final time. And then, as always guys, my last and final step was to go ahead and wash and sanitise my hands and then I'm going to finish with some homemade cuticle oil and really work that into my cuticles. And that is this design complete. So guys, that's us finally reached the end of today's video and I really loved how this one turned out. I am trying to hold on to summer with my both hands, but honestly the wind here is really making me realise that how close we are in getting into autumn and winter. So I wanted to do something that had autumn colours in it, but was still technically not an autumn related design. So I came up with this one and I really hope you enjoyed my take on Japanese inspired camouflage bling nails. And if you did enjoy today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kylie. I am a complete nail polish addict. And on this channel, you will find everything from nail art to swatches, reviews, and the occasional haul. So if that's something that piques your interest, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that notifications bell. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.